This video is about additional features of the hazardous substance calculator. We'll look at how to understand the results after you create an inventory, how to print or download your results, how to update your inventory. First, let's take a look at the results. On the left is the inventory list. You can expand each tab to see the information you entered. You'll see any incompatibilities with other substances in your inventory and any applicable special rules. These are highlighted because they have an impact on what you will need to do to manage the substances safely. On the right are the controls. Some controls are generic and are required for every hazardous substance. Others apply if substances are present in your workplace over threshold quantities. You can read how the controls apply to you and which substances triggered the need for this control. And you'll see there is a link to the practical guide for more information. Think of the calculator itself as a starting point. The practical guide contains much more detailed information about how to use each type of control. OK, let's take a quick look at how to download or print your results. Click on Print and a print version opens in a new tab. You'll see this contains your inventory list first and then the details of all your controls. You, and potentially fire and ambulance officers, must have easy access to your inventory in an emergency. You can print a hard copy or save as a PDF. You'll also see a download button. This lets you save the inventory as a spreadsheet. Now we will look at how to update your inventory. It's useful to know that every time you update your inventory, the controls are automatically updated too. Keeping your inventory accurate and up to date ensures you know which controls your workplace needs. On the calculator landing page, enter the PIN number in this box and you'll see the inventory and controls appear. Each item in your inventory has a delete and an edit button. Click Delete if you no longer have that substance in your workplace. Click Edit if you need, for example, to change the amount of the substance. This is important because some controls are triggered only when you reach a threshold amount. And of course, you can also add new substances to your inventory. If you update your inventory, do remember to download and print new copies for use in the workplace. In summary, using these functions helps you manage the risks associated with hazardous substances over time as workplace changes occur.